everybody, Charles here, and welcome. And Char like Charles, what's going on? A double banger today. Yes, today is a double banger today because I have somebody special coming on as well, and they're doing great things. And I had to get them on. We tried yesterday. We had like technical difficulties, and I'm like, listen, don't worry. We're gonna get you back on today because what you're doing is so important. What you're doing, everybody needs to know and jump on board. So please welcome to the show my special guest. <laughs> Lucky, what's going on? Hey, hey what's you? going on? I'm so happy to be here on the show. How are you doing, Charles? Uh, great to have you, my friend. I'm like, all right, first of all, explain the name. <laughs> well, <laughs> my dad's name is Luc um, in French. So Luc E. Cineas. So in English, Lucky Cineas. You know, it just came up uh, straight like this. Listen, when I saw the name, I had to make sure I was reading it properly. I'm like, when a guy's name is Lucky, he's got to be a friend of mine because it's a good thing, man. Trust me. So I'm so good to have you on this show. Give us some background. Born and raised. Where are you from? Um, well, I was born right here in uh, Canada, in Montreal. Um, raised, of course, in Quebec, but grew up in a Haitian family. Uh, my parents from Haiti. My dad was a teacher there in Haiti and a director. He owned his own school and uh, immigrated to Canada in order to teach, believe it or not, English to the <laughs> French students, the Haitian teaching English. <laughs> <laughs> I love those stories. <laughs> so tell us your experience growing up then. What, did you, what was different in, between here and your, what your father tells you in Haiti? And give us the, give us the difference. Well, the difference is, um, of course, you know, the atmosphere, um, the way he grew up. Um, he had to grow up in a very, very uh, tough country. You know, uh, Haiti is not the easiest country to live in, especially if you're a student, if you're growing up, if you're trying to make it in life. Um, but um, he told me that uh, he was able to, you know, always be serious about his business, be serious about his studies, and um, grow up learning different languages, Greek and uh, uh, Greek. It was Greek and Latin. Uh, and that helped him to become a teacher. And when I grew up in Canada, it was, you know, a no giver, you know, uh, no brainer for me to learn English, mm -hmm. as I had the French and of course, the Creole because we had to travel to Haiti a few times. <laughs> right, right. And that's why I like the, the Creole speaking, you know, the language. It has that culture to it, which which we, we all want to learn and, and, and get involved. So tell us what you are doing, because you have something big coming up that we want to get everybody involved, get the word out. You're doing some great things. So tell us a little bit more about that. Well, what I'm doing, um, I'm so happy to be working uh, in, you know, like straight, you know, union, unionship uh, with uh, Svetlana and Steven, uh, both with the uh, IWB, um, Immigrant Women in Business, and also IWB and RTG. So we have uh, this foundation that we've been working with in Haiti um, in order to help with the relief effort. You know, Haiti has been devastated with earthquake back in 2010 and of course this year again so unfortunately you know they've been hit with uh devastation and you know so many things but we're happy to be able to help them a little bit of a history uh back in 2010 when i had uh, my bakery here in toronto my dad and i we uh participated in a relief effort in order to help the haitian people um, receive uh, money um, as well as, uh, you know, items as far as like uh, any medical items, clothes, food, things like that. So from uh, the bakery, we had contacted a uh, popular radio show syndicated all across Canada in order to come and do the show from the bakery. Of course, the setup was a bit uh, too small. So what we did, we, um, you know... <laughs> He came in with his big bus, parked it in front of the bakery, studio inside the bus. And from there, we did the show. 
we invited um, a famous football player mm -hmm. from the Toronto Argonauts, uh, Ray Fontaine. Okay. Um, he's not playing anymore, but uh, you know, it was nice seeing him play. He, of course, had a Haitian background. And we had a singer and also an actor who came in uh, in order to mingle with the people, uh, speak on the show and uh, speak about, you know, their involvement in Haiti and, you know, what their, you know, their upbringing as Haitians. Right. So it was a great effort. Uh, the beauty of it is the, 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 you know, like the main reason for having the show straight from the bakery and mingling and, is, was in order to raise funds for Haiti. So we raised $2 million with government wow. matchup on that one day. On that one day? Yeah, it was like history, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was uh, great. All right. So what are we doing now? Because, you know, th that's just a start. And that's everything, a and that's a start. And we need to keep going. We need the momentum going. And you have a special event coming on, and you can get the link. We'll put the link in the description on Eventbrite. So, what's it called, and when is it? the The name of uh, the the um, the whole foundation is a Haiti Relief Effort. Um, it's with, uh, of course, IWB and RTG. Okay. Um, we are you know, doing everything we can. I mean, these are great people. Um, I'm talking about Svetlana and as well as uh, Steven. Um, they have, you know, like their program because of receiving through giving. Yes. You know, sending some food and uh, water bottles to Haiti in order to help the Haitian people get the necessity. But... The beauty of it is the transparency. Right. That's the reason why we, you know, like teamed up with uh, IWB and uh, RTG because of the transparency, because people need to know where their money's going and, you know, where it's uh, being, you know, what's, where it's going to end up, you know, whose hands and what it's going to do in order to help people. So I'm so happy to be working with them. All right. Great team effort. So we're going to take a quick break, but right after break, I think I got a special guest coming on. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Sounds great. Immigrant Women in Business, IWB, is a nonprofit organization bringing together women from over 50 different countries around the globe. These women have now made Canada their home and share a common goal of providing value to their new sisters. Our motto of We Are Stronger Together resonates with all members and with a diverse membership of business leaders, entrepreneurs and community builders our goal is to make Canada better and provide guidance and leadership to those that follow. CMJ Entertainment is a one-stop shop. CMJ Entertainment helps people to do any type of events and it's a marketing tool as well. So we'll cover everything from start to finish. If it's a wedding, we'll make sure your wedding is over the top. And if it's an event, we make sure that everybody gets information at the end of the day. Give us a call at 416-414-8964 or online at cmjent.com. Yeah. All right, we are Hello. back live. And we're sitting there talking to Lucky. I, I'm. I love that name. I'm gonna keep. <laughs> it's a lucky right. name. It's a lucky name. There you go. So they're in the break. We have a special guest there. I know they had their camera on. I just lost them for a sec, waiting for them to turn back on their camera. But in the meantime, so this event is taking place. Uh, you can go on to Eventbrite and get the link. And then I think they're there. So let's welcome to the show. All right. How you doing, sir? Just unmute your microphone. You're muted. Just unmute the mic. There we go. How you doing, sir? Yep. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Great to have you on the show. Where are you calling in from?
All right, so Lucky, maybe you can help us out there and tell us who is our special guest right here. Our special guest is uh, Mr. He's the consulate in uh, Haiti. His name is Mr. Berto Dejan. Um, he is calling directly live from Haiti, uh, from Port-au-Prince, and uh, he is, of course, you know, um, pushing in action the relief effort right there on the ground. He has the feet on the ground in Haiti. Um, he working with, of course, uh, association with the first lady who's been uh, very effective. Um, her foundation relief uh, has been so great with uh, helping the Haitian people. And Espoir AV, uh, Espoir AV, which is, uh, of course, uh, displaying and distributing the food as well on the Haitian ground. All right. This is this is fantastic. So I don't know if he, he, he can hear me or you can respond. Just want to know um, what can we do? What is the main focus? And can he can explain what's going on right now? So, sir, Berto Deja. Good afternoon, sir. How you doing? Glad to be here with you. Yeah. Can can you hear me, sir? I'm very glad to hear to hear with you. All right. So I'm just asking, can you tell us of what's going on down there? Give us some insight of what's going on. Unfortunately, I can hear so well. So, uh, okay. I think we might uh, have a little bit of, you know, the sound challenges, sound challenges, but I can probably jump in. Yep. Go right ahead. Yeah. So in Haiti right now, um, the situation is absolutely devastating. We all know that the big part of the country, the south part of the country, has been totally destroyed. Okay. Earthquake. Unfortunately, homes are have crumbled to the ground. Um, when we look at pictures, it uh, you know it really hits the heart to see what's going on. People have no homes, um, no water no food, um, clothes, they don't have any clothing, you know, everything has been destroyed, their homes destroyed, I mean, it's their whole, whole livelihood. Um, they need, uh, of course, uh, you know, ladies, of course, need a special care, and they need uh, things to take care of themselves as well, you know. Um, so we're very, very um, sensitive to the women and the young ladies down there. Um, babies as well really need uh, special care. So construction material, water, food, these are, you know, extremely important there. And that's the reason why we're working with uh, IWB and RTG in order to provide uh, the necessities of life, which are, of course, food and water. Mr. Yeah. Roberto, I don't know if you can hear me, if you can jump in and uh, give us a feel of what's happening in Haiti right now? Exactly. I can hear you. I can hear you very well. I don't know if you hear me. Yep. Yes. Well. If you can hear me, I'm, I say hi to everyone uh, who's listening and the viewers also, uh, you know, look at us. Uh, we exactly from Haiti. And uh, as you just mentioned before, uh, the situation is very bad in Haiti as right now because uh, after the earthquake, the we have a lot of necessities. We have a uh, lack of, you know, like food problems. We have a uh, hard problems, medicines, uh, cloth, uh, paper towels, uh, waters. So the situation is so bad. So I'm very glad that someone tried to help Haiti, and we very, very appreciate it. Uh, you know, for the people who really want to, you know, give us hand at, at this time. Yeah, and I, I'm just sitting there and I'm pulling up some pictures. You can see. You know, um, buildings crumbled here. You can see people on the street, you know, helping each other out, looking for supplies, helping each other out. So, you know, and this is just simple. You know, you could just Google it right now. That's all I did. Just type it in, Google it. Image speaks for images speak for itself. You know what I mean? We need to help out. We need to give. We need to, to support. And this is what the event is. And, you know, working with IWB, showing, you know, where it's going directly it's a it's a help and and that's what i love about it and that's why i love that you guys are teaming up 
unfortunately, the reception here in Haiti is very low. It's very poor. I'm sorry for that. You know, because of the situation, as you know, it's like everything is, uh, you know, is, is down the drain. Even right. the internet is not so good. So uh, I don't know if you're going to take a little break. I, I will try something else to have a little bit more receptions. But as of, as of right now, the reception is very poor. I can I cannot hear you well, but uh, I can see the picture, but I cannot hear you well. So like I said before, that's 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 where we are right now. So we we very appreciate like uh, you know the people in Toronto, Canada, and in all over the world to come and try to give us help at this time. We yeah, really appreciate that. Yeah, and lucky you can you can you can take over just just for him coming on and just coming on to you know say things we can you can understand what is needed, you know what I mean you can understand what, what is needed. So uh, tell us, lucky uh, if you if you know what is the main stuff. What can we do? You know, just, just give us the nitty gritty. Oh yeah, the okay. I, I don't know. I, like I mentioned before, we need food. We need hard for housing. We need medicine. We need cloth paper towels, water, you know, all these things we need, we do it at this time, you know, to, uh, you know, to get things going for the, for the people who's, who's really in bad situation right now. All right. So I'm going to bring on another special guest, and this is my my main man. And we've been working on this project for a long time. And listen, this project is phenomenal. This is what I don't people don't understand. When you see how great this project is and what you do, the give back, the recognition. So I got to bring him on myself, Stephen. What's going on? All good, brother. Hey, great to see you all. Thank you for having me. I'm I'm honored, and I'm, I'm we're really excited to be able to help Haiti. And the Haitian people, uh, you know, with this program, and uh, you know, Lucky, my good friend, uh, for for many years, when we started talking about helping, and and the challenges he had with the last time, uh, we said, listen, like as as we were just heard, uh, the food, water, well, that that's something that we've got a, a the great ability to provide healthy food, you know, to to your shelf life, the water bottles. We're really really excited about being able to do this, and so. Uh, we're just honored, honestly, to for the opportunity, and really looking forward to working with everybody to, uh, you know, to make this happen. All right, so let's let's backtrack, Stephen. So if people don't know who you are, you know, and they haven't watched my show, and they were underneath a rock, all right, <laughs> let's talk about how sure. this program works, so people can understand it and why it's so important to give. So explain how the program works. Yeah, we we just simply put a program together so that that would offer full transparency. That's needed today, especially in you know North American giving. So we formulated a very healthy food, a non-GMO organic food, and we uh, we declared ourselves a for-profit social enterprise. So we could do things that obviously charities can't. We believe the charities have great intentions. We just believe the charity model is broken. Uh, and so because younger people today want transparency, so we just created this. You know, we have put a great team together, made this food, uh, formulated the food and said listen you can buy this food from us for 39 dollars and 70 cents for 30 meals that's only a dollar 33 a meal cheaper than any charity in north america and we can deliver that to charities and partner with them so they can distribute it to the people that need it in this case we have the opportunity to to uh you know work with the with the former um president's wife the first lady and and with her charity and she's going to her foundation she's going to deliver it uh directly there we also through lucky's contacts uh, made a deal so we could get these special water bottles so that they could be used. Uh, great filtration things. They, 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 they un unbelievable for relief situations. So people buy it from us. Everybody who who buys this food from us, they win more than they put in because we have a discount mobile app in North America that has over three hundred and ten thousand vendors. So when they use that, they're actually saving more than it's costing them to feed these people. So it's a really, really sustainable model. It's new. It's exciting. Where, what, by the way, our companies, uh, the different ones we're partnered up with now are blowing up. Um, and, you know, our, our goal just in North America over the next three to four years, probably feeding about 25 million people a month. Uh, and now that we can partner up with, with countries that need, uh, you know, help, especially in these difficult times with tangible things. I just heard, um, you know, talking about food and water. We can deliver that. We can deliver that. Uh, and people are happy to do that because they want to help anyway. But now it's much easier because they win more than they put in. 
And so that's yeah, and, th- and that's the motto. There it yeah. is. You're, you're giving and you're receiving. So why not just give, give, give? The more you give, the more you're going to receive. And mm-hmm. in the long run, you're helping. And that's the main thing. Think of all the people you're helping. And you said something a while ago that I want to touch on. It works out to be like a dollar thirty. Oh, a dollar thirty-three. Yeah. So basically, thirty-three a meal, and it's and it consists of you know the the, the cup of uh, granola or oatmeal and two bars in every box. Right. Uh, so, so yeah. So that Tim that Tim Hortons coffee, skip uh-huh. it. You yeah. know what I mean? So go ahead and skip it for a day. You just fed somebody. You know what yeah. I mean? You're yeah. going out. You're gonna go get. Uh, you go to the gas station and you're picking up. You know, a, a chocolate bar. Skip it. You just fed somebody. You exactly. know what I mean? Think of yeah, it yeah. that way. You are helping out a dollar thirty-three, and you're feeding somebody. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. So that is unbelievable. So please, yeah. please, 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 look on it. Support. That's all we're asking you. It's easy. Support. 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 Go ahead and support. So I'm so glad, lucky that we could finally get you on. Right, so we can team up because this is a great cause. You have to jump on board. So I'm gonna leave the last words to you, Lucky. Talk to the people. Just let them know how you're feeling and and the appreciation. Go ahead. To um, you know everybody, all your listeners, um, I really want to thank you for inviting us on the show. Um, uh, it's been an honor, you know, to to be able to be on on this, you know, beautiful show, and uh, you, you're everybody listens to you, <laughs> you know, like as soon as we, you know, see the first show, we listen to you, and then we're attracted, and all your listeners, um, everybody in Canada, um, everybody worldwide who can see this broadcast has been, um, it's been such a, a a joy for us you know the canadian people uh in the past had such an open heart in order to help us and to provide you know to give donations money water food and uh i'm pretty sure that today it's just as much and even more so thank you for everyone um i'm so honored and uh we're happy to work with uh berto foundation Espoir AV and uh, of course the first lady. Um, thank you so much for everyone for your support. All right, and I'm gonna put this up here 905 706 5825. That's 706 5825. Call, pick up the phone, call, get some more information. How you can support, volunteer. Maybe you can volunteer and go out and, and get other people to join in and spread the word. That's what it is. It's spread the word. Listen, we live in a social media world. All I want you to do is pick up the phone, push the button, and share it. The more you share, the more people get involved, and you can help. Thank you so much, my friend. And thank you, sir. I know the internet has been in tight, but thank you so much for just coming on. Just coming on shows the love that you have and the support. So thank you for just coming on. We want to thank you, likewise. We want to thank you so very much for all the Canadian brothers and sisters who understood this situation and they tried to help us out and appreciate it. And they God bless you all. Thank you very much. It's been my pleasure, my friend. It's been my pleasure. All right, everybody, you know my saying, you didn't have to watch, but you did. And since you did, please share that love. Please share that love and give. Remember, $1.33, that's all it takes. And you're helping somebody in need. So on behalf of myself and everybody here, please support and we thank you for your time. We'll see you next time, everybody. Hold on. Before we get you go, is that the bottle? That's the water bottle. It has a special filter inside. And uh, that's the reason why we're, you know, teaming up with uh, this company. Um, Any water that you could put in there, it could be from any source, will filtrate the water. And, of course, you'll get pure 99.99% water, alkaline water at 9.5%. So, that's the reason why we teamed up with this company, um, of course, Care Beyond and RTG and IWB. My love to all of you because and your whole team, your whole staff. Um, thank you very much. <laughs> love it. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. Hold up the bottle thank again. You. Hold it up. Hold it up. <laughs> there thank we you. go. It's <laughs> come to an end, but the fun doesn't have to stop here. 
If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, head over right now to Twitter and Facebook and like, share and get involved. Join us next time. Please be advised that this podcast is meant for educational and informational purposes only and is in no way a replacement for legal or medical advice. The opinions contained within are solely those of the interviewers and interviewees and should be received as so. Those seeking help or advice are encouraged to obtain professional legal and medical